What's going on everybody? Welcome to a quick little video that uh, I basically spent all day trying to find the answer for this myself. So I figured that it would be very helpful if I just put up a video explaining in case. Because I, I watch videos for hours trying to find this and I couldn't find a single video that says this. I mean it worked for me. So I figured any, at least one person that I could help I could make their day. And uh, that makes me happy. So basically in this video, I'm just going to describe how you can use an Elgato capture card to record or stream a console, but be able to hear the game audio in OBS. That was the main thing. I kept watching all these video tutorials that were great, but the people in the comments kept saying, well, yeah, this is really nice, but I can't hear the game audio. And that makes like, say from myself, I have my headphones plugged into my mic so I can hear the feedback and my desktop audio and then if I wanted to hear hear the PlayStation I would, I would have to plug my microphone into the controller and then I wouldn't be able to hear myself talk and it would just be terrible so basically here it goes first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure that you have the Elgato game capture program installed and the OBS, Open Broadcast Software, downloaded. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your game capture application. I got it right here. Now, this is the software that Elgato uses to basically process the output from your PlayStation and put it onto your computer. Don't get me wrong, this program looks really nice. Oh, as you can s as you can see, it's instant. As I'm pressing the buttons on my controller, it's coming up right on the screen. And it's nice, but say, for example, there are definitely some things wrong with it. Okay, it actually can't use my webcam because I'm using it for this video. But th there's just flaws. It's not really optimized, so it, it requires a lot of uh, computing power to record, and a lot of the things don't come out. Like the frame rate is a little weird at times. So a lot of people, and also just the fact that OBS is so much more customizable. Basically, a lot of people just want to be able to do it through OBS. So, you can click into Devices, Show Device Settings. For me, I'm using PlayStation 4, so you want to click that. You can click whatever console that you're using. I actually have an HDMI switch so that I can press a button and it changes to another... Uh, it changes to another device. And you want to keep it on HDMI audio. Mm. You can do either one. Uh, I'm colorblind, so I actually can't really tell the difference. But I've heard that standard is actually better. <laughs> so, uh, profile. This is basically you're putting it on the resolution that you want. Uh, I record my videos. Even though my monitor is 4K, but I record my videos at 1080. So leave that on. Put it on best. Cropping. Nope. And uncheck these. So basically what you're going to want to do from here is just make sure that the Elgato program isn't using anything unnecessary. So don't don't have the audio capturing, don't be recording, don't have it uh, in the background like that. And you can do that by, how the hell did I do that? That would be in this settings. Oh yeah, that is, you uncheck enable flashback recording because then it's going to be constantly like recording the last couple minutes and then deleting it as it goes along and that's just it's using unnecessary uh, computing power. So anyway, you're going to want to close out of this. So the next thing you're going to want to do is open your OBS program. So you're going to see some stuff pop up on my screen, but then you're going to be like, oh, my all I see is a black screen. Well. First, what you gotta do, I'm just gonna delete this so you can see it from, oops, from the way that you're seeing it. 
So it's going to be a black screen. You're going to want to go down to sources, click the plus, click video capture device. I'm going to rename it Elgato HD 60 Pro. Oops. And then click game capture HD 60 Pro video. By the way, the diff I, I'm pretty sure the difference between these two is that the game capture HD 60 Pro video this setting I believe is zero latency which means it's instant and this one is not don't if if you try doing this and you either don't have this option or it's not working as well just go back into this redo this whole step and click Elgato Elgato capture HD but for now I'm gonna click this one and if you want to change the settings of your capture card right from here, you can actually click configure video. You can also just click OK. Properties, configure video. And that's how you can change it from there without having to delete it and restart it. Whoopsies. Oh, fuck. Well, I had some settings there that I didn't necessarily want to do, but. All right. So. If yours is like this, say, for, like I was saying, my screen is 4K, my recordings are, and my, well, I have the PlayStation 4 Pro, but it's plugged into an HDMI port that doesn't let it be 4K. So, if it's the wrong size, you just grab onto this corner here, and you can drag it into the right spot. Alright, so here's the part that you guys have all been waiting for. This is where I, I'll put at the very beginning of the video, skip to this point if you want to just see the audio fix. So, basically... The problem that people are running into is, as you can see, since I'm recording this using a program that is not OBS, I'm flipping around and I'm not getting any sound at all. But I would love to be able to play my game through OBS. I've seen a whole bunch of different solutions and none of them work. At least none of them work for me. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to Mixer, Elgato, HD60 Pro, hit the cog for settings, you click Advanced Audio Properties. You scroll over, Audio Monitoring. Right at the first one, Elgato HD60 Pro. You scroll over a little bit, Audio Monitoring. And then you click Monitor Only. And then you click Close. So now you can see, I can record my freaking PlayStation and you get the sound zero latency and there you go so now it's coming through your computer and you don't have to worry about it going through your playstation having to do like either two headphones on at once or having to sacrifice one of them so there you go i really hope this helps at least somebody out there uh, and if you have any more questions i hope i can help i'll i respond to comments instantly so i know this was a bit of a different video than i would normally do most of the time I normally just do gaming videos or every once in a while a movie explain type thing. But basically, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.